Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a vector in R. So let's uh, run up our R Studio here and we get ready to write our code for this section. A vector is a central component of our R. We're going to need to be able to create these. It can contain numbers, it can contain strings, characters or logical values, though as we will see later we cannot have a mixture of these values in a vector. So one of the simplest ways to think of a vector is like a line in an Excel spreadsheet. We're going to use the combine operator uh, to help us to construct a vector from simple elements. So let's create our first vector here. I'm going to call it v1, v1 for vector number one. I'm going to assign it using the assignment operator and then the, this is our first time using the combine operator so that's just the letter C and opening and close brackets and I'm going to create a vector with just three simple values in it one, two and three. So imagine a line in a table with values of one, two and three in it and let me run that piece of code and we can see now nothing happens in the console other than the code is replicated but over in our global environment we can see that a, va a value called v1 that's our vector the title that we gave it has a numeric values uh, in a sequence of there's three of them one to three and we can see what the values are one two and three and in our console here if we want to display it in the console we can print out the value of our vector right and run that so we have a vector here with uh, three values in it, one, two, three. Let's go ahead and create a second vector. I'm going to call this one V2. And I'm going to assign this one the values of, using the combine operator again, four, five, and six. Okay, and uh, I'm going to run that. We can see again in our global environment, the values display the name of the variable v2, their numeric values, nu1, m indicates numeric. Uh, we've got three values in it, so the sequence is from one to three, and there are the values four, five, and six. I'm going to, in the, for the console purposes here, I'm going to print out the vec vector two variable, run that piece of code, and we can see uh, in our console down here, the values for our uh, print for our first vector and print for the second vector, we can display them in our, in our console. Now we can do things with these like add them together so I'm going to add uh, v1 plus v2 and see what the, what the uh, uh, run this and see what the output is. So we can see in our output down here uh, vector 1 had values of 1, 2 and 3, vector 2 had values of 4, 5 and 6 and when we add them together we can see that the 1 in vector 1 is being added to the 4 in vector 2 so that gives us a value of 5, the 2 in vector 1 is being added to the 5 in, in vector 2 that gives us a value of 7 and the same the 3 and the 6 are added together to give us 9 so this is something that might be handy for you to be able to do. Uh, we can also combine the two vectors if we want to combine the two vectors into a single vector. So um, let me do that and come back up to my code and I'm going to combine, let's put in a comment here, to combine the vectors. And so I can use again the C, the combine function, and just simply put in V1, comma, V2. So when I combine the two of those together and run that piece of code, we can see uh, in, in, in our console down here that the uh, values for the first vector are displayed and then the values for the second vector are displayed after that. If we do this the other way around, just let me copy this and insert this. If I do vector two first and then vector one second, run this piece of code, we will see that we get four, five, and six first, and then one, two, and three. So you should experiment with pieces of code like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a text vector. So there will be occasions when you would want to do this. And I'm going to call this one v3. And use the assignment operator. Uh, I'm going to use, again, use a combine function. And I need inverted commas this time because I am creating text. And I'm going to create a vector here called i. And, and then comma, another inverted commas, and a love, and a comma, another third set of inverted commas, I love R. So let's run this piece of code here. We can see what we're doing. We're using the combine function to create a vector called V3 with these three elements to it, um, the uh, character I, the word love, and the character R. So let's run this piece of code, okay? And when if I want to then display what's in print V3, 
print feed tree on line 17 here, we can see we get the elements of this. And we can see. also notice that it's spaced out a little bit. The reason why there's a wide space for the I and after the R is that the word love has four characters in it. So there's these are spaced out as a consequence of that. So experiment with this uh, should you choose. Now I did mention, I'm gonna to try to show you, try to mix the vectors. So we have a numeric vector and we have a text vector. So if I try to do something like um, create a new vector, let's call this one V5, and a, or V4, sorry, and combine that uh, using the combine operator, combine this with V1, V2, uh, which are numeric, and then V3, which is a text ve vector here. So uh, we cannot have a mix. So what happens here is that when we print, just I'm going to print out V4, when we print out V4, you can see what's happened is that there's inverted commas around the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Um, and because what has happened here is that we're not allowed to have a mix of vectors. So R has converted the numbers into characters. That's being indicated by the inverted commas here. So we, in, with this particular vector here, V4, we wouldn't be able to do calculations because these would be treated as character strings. So that's how you uh, create a simple vector in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.